Okay, so I attempted to finish up my tie off and when I got almost done the guide wrap, my trim band came off. So what I'm gonna attempt to do is fix that. So what I did is I put a piece of tape here so it doesn't completely unravel on me as I uh, attempt to fix this issue here. Um, because the first thing I'm gonna do is back this off. Uh, back it off a little bit here. And then I'm going to um, trim off the edges of the of the chevron wrap that I don't need anymore because I only want it over here. Uh, so I'll cut this off. And then we'll see if we can salvage this. So there's my wrap that's no longer there. So I'm gonna back this off probably almost to the tape. So then I could cut the away the cut away the excess thread that I don't need. So for a good port a good portion of this, I'm not even gonna use my wrapper to fix this. I'm just gonna probably hand wrap it without it. Let's see what we got. Alright. So that's pretty good for now. Take my blade, cut this off. Now I did put some some extra CP on here, so this might come off in chunks instead of pieces of thread, which should help me in the long run. I think. I don't know. Well, I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna try to cut this off without actually in the blank. Um, it does look like that the CP did take hold because it's not fraying off like it normally would. Um, okay, so just trying to get these cut off here. It's definitely harder than I expected it would be. Well, the good thing about this is it's not a full wrap. It's not a closed wrap, so I won't have to take off as much thread. But it's still a good bit. Um, keep taking this off. And don't cut yourself when you're doing this. That would be bad. All right, so. So that seems clear. Let me get this out of the way so I don't accidentally cut it. All right, so that part's clear. Cut this off, part off. So if I can actually get this without completely losing the wrap. Uh, that would be a positive. At least that's the hope anyway. Okay. So I'm not going to worry about too much of this showing up here because I'm still going to be wrapping over it eventually. just want to get all this extra stuff off to the left because this I definitely do not need. Well, I do want to cut that off before it gives me problems. This will definitely give me problems if I don't. Let's back off all the tape. Alright, 
cut away some of this now. pieces of tape on here as you can see. Just trying to get it out of here so I can get all the excess thread off of the rod bank. Alright. So the part that's sticking that has the CP on it of course. You can see there's a little residue on the blank itself. Just scrape off most of that, that's no big deal. And, all right, that's good enough for now. I can take off the tape later on. Just wanted to get all that thread out of the way. All right, so, let's see if I can get some more of this off of here. Get a little bit of heat to it just so it gets the, the fuzzy part off the off the thread. Okay, so that's that. So now I should be able to wrap this back out. This is gonna be interesting. How do I wanna do this? All right, so this is obviously something new that I've never done before. So let's see how this one, uh, all right. Maybe I won't use my wrapper instead. So this is gonna prove more difficult than I thought. So, let's try to get a couple more. Here, I'm gonna get my thread from my from my wrapper. Try to find some way to get this to work. is hitting my phone, which is always fun. Put that across the back part of the blank like how I had it before. I'll just tape it down here. I'll get across my section I wanted to, to go at. Tape the other end. Okay, 
and I have my end for my wrapper. I'm just going to try to overlap my existing thread I have here. And then wrap it backwards from what I usually do. So since this is all black, it's not that big of a deal. But if it was different colors, then we could get quite a big issue going on here. So I just want to get enough thread going on here so I can overlap the existing thread that's here. Try to make it seamless. Then once I get a couple of wraps over, then I'll uh, cut off the old part. So like I said, this is going backwards. I'm not used to doing it this way, so. I used to turn it towards me. Okay, so. Got a couple of wraps over the original thread. So now I can cut that off. Get that out of my way. Okay. There we go. So now I just want to drop some thread. All right. So, so I'm gonna get this long enough down the blank so it covers up this my uh, residual chevron wrap that's going on here and then once I get towards the end then I'll do my finish up the trim wrap and I'll close it off and if that works, and then we can consider this fail fixed. That's the hope anyway. So it's looking pretty good so far. So I got this out here pretty far so I can cut that off and pull the tag through. So it's, won't have so many issues. I just want to get this here. And when I'm ready for for that, so there's not, there's no tag in, so that's pretty good. The thing I don't like is that this is still coming through. Back this off a little bit and see if we can get a little bit better. Okay, uh, it's coming through a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now that silver is. No longer showing, so that's a plus. Okay. Just trying to pack this a little bit better because my chevron underneath was still showing. I don't want that to show that if I can. One thing that, all right, so just try to place it a little bit better. not line it up nearly as good as I would like. It's not horrible. Okay. So we're almost almost past this part. A couple stubborn threads that wanna keep coming through. Okay, 
Okay, it looks like we're pretty much done that part. And a couple more wraps, then I'll do the trim band, trim band, and then we'll tie it off. Okay. So I'm just gonna slide this out. Take off the tape so I can do the metallic. So now we're gonna do the opposite of what it did originally. And go this way and go backwards. At least this is backwards for me. So do that. Let's do one more. And slide the black turn back over itself. Back over the metallic. it again so now we have a single it's actually two two silver threads I'm gonna trim this off here yeah, that looks that was close okay do a couple more uh, and there we go. Oh, it broke again. So, all right. Um, well, I guess we'll still call this fail a fail. All right. Well. Okay. So as you can see, I have my my rod on the on the dryer now. I was able to fix it, but apparently when I was recording previously I had my camera the other way so now I'm just gonna put some CP on this and then uh, finish it off all right uh, thanks for watching and probably work on the next side for the next one all right thanks